Why do male lions kill their cubs? You could hear the term infanticide when discussing the natural world. When an adult, usually a male, kills a juvenile member of the same species, this occurs. Infanticide is a frequently disregarded strategy for guaranteeing the survival of the fittest. It has been seen in a variety of creatures across the animal kingdom, most notably primates. It also includes mammals like dolphins in addition to fish, insects, reptiles, amphibians, and even unpredictable species like hippos. According to scientific study, it can give the offender advantages including improved chances for reproduction, access to scarce resources, immediate nutritional advantages, or the avoidance of poorly focused parental care. We'll discuss why lions commonly commit the crime of infanticide in this video. Lions may kill their cubs for a variety of reasons. Similar to how it is frequently observed that invading male lions who have won over the pride and the lionesses by fighting the father lion can kill the pups of the victorious father lion. According to reports, male lions in the wild have not showed much interest in caring for another lion's offspring. So they either decide to kill them or kick them out of the pride. Furthermore, it has been noted that young male lions and other nomadic lions may regularly try to kill the cubs of other lionesses in the wild if the cubs are not securely secured by their parents. Lions who live alone are always trying to start their own pride. Because of this, they strive to fight the male lions of the pride continually in an effort to drive them away and take over possession of the females. Once they are successful, having offspring becomes their first priority. In order to reproduce and mate with the females, they must kill their young cubs because female lions can become pregnant when they have no cubs to take care of. As a result, it frequently happens that the new male would try to kill the pups in order to get the females to choose him for mating. The young of their brothers or cousins, for example, have been reported to be killed by male lions who are known to murder cubs who are not in any way connected to them. Male Infanticide A new coalition of males that takes leadership of the pride almost always kills the cubs since they are not genetically related to the pride's cubs and do not want to expend energy ensuring that other lions' genes will be passed on. Because nursing female lions will not be open to mating, killing the cubs enables the male lions to procreate. Although lionesses are usually more successful in protecting older kids because they would be leaving the pride sooner, infanticide does occur in other species, and the female will try to stop it by hiding or actively defending their cubs. Because the mother will still be nursing them, lions that are migrating seem to target any cubs that are around 9 months old or younger. There is substantial selective pressure on males to adopt this behavior because lionesses only give birth once every two years and males only have two years on average to pass on their genes. In fact, it's thought that infanticide accounts for about 25% of cub deaths in the first year of life. Female Infanticide When there is only one lion cub left, it has been reported that the mother would purposefully abandon her litter, a behavior known as filial infanticide. Females who give up single cubs in favor of larger litters will have a better chance of reproducing throughout their lives, according to studies.
It should be mentioned that if the cub is disabled, frail, or ill, desertion may also take place. Of course, lions are excellent parents to their young. While the lionesses are out hunting, the lions aggressively and effectively guard the pups of the pride. Lionesses will also take care of their young until they are two or three years old. Lions and lionesses who truly care for their children may engage in a brutal conflict with intruding males who attempt to control the pride, claim the territory, or try to murder the cubs. Since it is common knowledge that lionesses give birth to their young outside of the pride, they take good care of their young. Because lion cubs are born completely defenseless and need to be shielded from predators and intruders, their mothers hide the cubs from other animals, including her own pride. When the cubs are about eight weeks old, she finally gets to see her pride. They pay them that much attention from the moment they are born. The cubs of each lioness and the pride are equally cared for by them. They give each other's children wonderful care, nourishment, and protection. The male lion's dislike of cubs may stem from a number of factors. In contrast, a male lion intruder would abhor the cubs of another pride and be willing to murder them if the cubs were not properly secured. A lion father will never stop trying to protect his children. The most plausible explanation, according to zoologists and wildlife researchers, is that the male lions murder the cubs to make the females go into estrus again so they can mate since they don't like cubs that aren't their own. Intruder male lions are also discovered to despise the pride's cubs after taking over control of a new pride because they cannot stand waiting around without having sex with the lioness. Invading males won't wait until the cubs are completely grown before taking over a new pride. The new dominant and invading male will always decide to kill the children that are not genetically their own after seizing control of the pride and starting a new generation that is. This is regularly seen in the wild. Because women are intelligent, they react when they see an outside male in charge of the pride. They decide to bring their pups out later to fool the new male into thinking they are their cubs in order to better mate with him. By doing this, the cubs are prevented from dying. If you look at this from a genetic standpoint, you'll see that the new male nearly always kills the new pride cubs after taking over the pride if the babies are not adequately secured. This rigorous selection eliminates the cubs that are not linked genetically in order to stop the DNA of the other lions from being carried on. As a result, the lineage will continue with adequate long-term survival possibilities. Alright everyone that is it for now, thanks for watching and please don't forget to like, share and subscribe.